So Pat, um, smartest IT community members really like to hear stories about what other folks are doing, what kind of benefit others have got from uh, uh, from analytics. So can you tell us a few stories? Sure. Uh, the, the stories are numerous. As many stories exist as there are different types of competitive approaches to the marketplace. And there's such a wide range of businesses using analytics now, the stories are near endless. Companies are taking data and they're changing how they price products, they're changing what products they put on the shelf, where they drop their flyers, where they advertise, where they promote, and all of it is being driven by a continuous learning loop where they're being informed by the feedback from customers and social media about what's working and what's not, and then reallocating their decisions and resources to take maximum advantage of what they have in front of them. SAS has been working with clients in financial services and in government uh, for decades on fraud. The, a game-changing thing that's happened over the last three years with big data is that we now are able to understand the, um, the more organized crime element of fraud, the fraud rings. And we're able to take all of that data available across auto insurance and health benefits and all the rest of it, make all of the connections, not just amongst customers, but cars and tow truck companies and service providers and kinesiologists and doctors and pharmacies connect it all and understand using analytics what the interrelationships are and which are normal and which are not normal and use a whole series of analytics, social media analytics and combine them in unique ways so you can visually represent actual fraud rings and hmm. you can see how they progress over time and we're actually working with the business partners now to not only do it for an individual company but to create consortiums across the industry so that rather than it's kind of a co-opetition model the entire auto insurance industry would love to be able to compete with one another but at the same time take the whole level of fraud down the industry and so we've been working with all the government regulators to allow us to bring data across all of those se segments use this advanced analytics and take take cost out of the entire industry while taking down some very large organized crime rings. Well, I mean, that's a great story, not just from the perspective of saving money for the insurance companies, but insurance companies are really pooling risk. So what you're really doing is you're using big data analytics to reduce the cost of insurance, helping all the consumers as well. That's a great story. Absolutely. And, um, you know, in many of these uh, organized crime rings in the auto insurance sector, you know, they're, they're not victimless crimes no. because, uh, well, there may be collusion amongst a number of the parties. There are often other people involved in accidents which occur. And uh, it's, so it is the, the cost to all consumers of this money being taken out of the system, but there's real peril to, to the public as well. So it's really, it's really in, in everyone's best interest that, that this insight is brought to the table. We're doing the same thing in uh, the credit issue space as well. There are, uh, there are huge amounts of, uh, of organized crime activity around um, defrauding or in the credit space as well, and so we're working in that, that area also. Another um, stepwise increase, I think, in the data explosion is just upon us now, and that's the whole advent of machine-to-machine -machine communication. And um, you know, many of us have read about uh, the smart grid, but it goes beyond uh, the smart grid and having people be intelligent about how they use and consume energy in the home. It also is allowing consumers to organize how the intelligent you know, equipment in their life interacts most right. effectively for them. So their home and their home entertainment system and their car and um, you know, the food in their fridge and their energy consumption, all of those things are enabled to exchange data not just with the consumer but also with one another so that you can set up profiles and automatic triggers so that you can you know have your you know your materials organized in the way you in the way you want them to so when you think about that the richness of understanding of what the consumer does and when it, um, it, it affords great opportunities for businesses to you know make new value propositions for the consumer so your fridge can call up your computer and place your order with Grocery Gateway. And uh, you can set up um, all of the inventory of things you want to consume and you can connect it to Groupon or anyone else and wait for the right deal and you know everyone might maybe might want something at the right price and you'll know when you need it and when the best deal could be. <laughs> Fascinating <laughs> stuff. 